equipment traffic glider for off the Sierras on final runway 28 landing in the grass south side equipment. Keep it low, keep it in ground effect. Keep it low, keep it in ground effect. Come up with a plane. A little high, a little high. A bit of a thermal. Woo! You can see on the video and I don't even know if you can hear me but you want to keep the tires of the tow plane on the horizon per my uh, perspective yeah hope the other one 360 camera might be able to pick that up we're going 3,000 feet we just passed the 200 foot here in South Georgia where it's really flat you need to focus on a couple different visual indicators of thermal activity one thermals over cities any like concrete building um, that might be able to help you out uh, parking lots which you don't have any around here uh, plowed farm fields are another good indicator of uh, or another good factor for thermals yeah we got to pop the brakes though real fast I just told you guys what I look for when I'm gliding and I'm a brand new glider pilot uh, student glider pilot so I'm still learning and a day like today where there's no clouds it's really hard to get a visual cue that there is a thermal because if there's a cloud you're looking for a concave bottom to the cloud which is just showing that there's air traveling upward in a cylinder and that is pushing on the bottom of the cloud, creating that concave uh, shape. We have to understand what a thermal is, uh, because if you want to glide and you want to glide for a while, you have to know what a thermal is. Is a convective current. It rises warm air from the surface of the earth, and then the air goes up, the air cools, the air then sinks back to earth. And the idea of a glider, right, because this is a question I've been asked multiple times um, when I tell people that I'm a student glider pilot. They're like, how does the glider stay up in the air for so long? Well, in South Georgia, it really doesn't. Uh, there's, a, uh, there's a couple hundred feet per minute thermals that you can get from here and there. It all depends on the time of the year. Um, if you're out in the desert or near the mountains, then you can probably up, be up in a glider for hours. Um, but the idea of gliding is to find these thermals, penetrate the thermal, and then circle within the thermal all the way until the thermal kind of loses, it loses its energy, right? You're just trying to find these elevators of air all over the Earth's surface to keep yourself up. Equipment traffic glider four off the Sierra is on final runway 28, landing in the grass outside equipment.
So after that landing and talking to you about why I think gliding is fun, here's a video of my CFI Joe and another club member Mark and he is doing a 200 foot simulated rope break. They're gonna release it at 200 feet AGL, it's 400 feet MSL. And then it's gonna be a emergency landing, so a 180 back okay. landing opposite direction. Good, very good. Not too high. There you go. miles an hour, right? Get off the spoilers. 